Lego Eric 017. I'm here for a video review of my custom transformer of my own. It's a triple changer, it, and it I think it looks pretty good for what I can do. It, look, here, um, he's he's barely standing, so I gotta move the camera itself. Um, yeah, I know he has a gold mouth, but I don't really have a rounded piece that's you know the flat piece that's not black that I know of. And without making him look like too much like Austin's trying, but I need it to be f flat though. But uh, uh, he, like I said, he is a triple changer. Uh, as you can see, see wings. Uh, he he has some wheels. He's uh, I had to take apart my other transformers. Who's side? Uh, now I did not take apart Starstream. He's right there since I just built him, built him. And plus, he has to. I feel like he has to have a villain. I feel like creating another one. Well, just yet, anyways. Uh, but basically, he is a prime. He bas he's a triple changer and a prime. His name is Cyber Prime. I know that's it's a it's a to me it's a cool name, but it's also a little quick. But like I said, his name's Cyber Prime, and basically uh, he does have the same matrix leadership inside his chest that Optimus Prime did. It's that's why there's these things right there. Like I said, he is barely standing up, so I'm trying to be careful. Uh, he has guns on his ar these things right there. Those are the same smokestacks as Optimus had as well, but they're his guns. He has two of them, kind of like Starstream type thing. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty cool for his bo in both modes. And I'll sh I guess I can show you size of comparison before I start transforming him. Okay, uh, place the camera down. Don't don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying. To, like I said, he's barely standing. Like this, guys are really back heavy, or ch top heavy, anyways. Uh, here, let me just get this camera over. He is, he's a little taller than Starscream. As you can see, he's he's just a few. He's like a head taller than Starscream. He's also bent over a little bit so he can stand up. He's like he's basically again back heavy. Oh okay, yeah, oh yeah. So by the way, I fixed Starscream thing so you can transform without his legs popping off every five seconds. Well, they still do it, but I mean like when you're transforming it. Okay, so I guess I can angle this up so you can see him better. Okay. So yeah, he has some light piping as well as you, as you can see. He has. Uh, light, let me see. Uh, so yeah, his head heart articulation is is basically going to go up and down. He can't turn his head. That would just set unlike uh, well, just like at least he has more possibility than Starscream. He has. Oh yeah, I haven't said this, but my uh, where I got the ideas from the T joint things is from of course Boys with the Most Toys. I just haven't been saying it. Now I meant to. I actually meant to be giving him credit, but I kept forgetting to. But I will basically be posting it on my other videos, so he's giving him credit. Uh, but they are awesome joints. Like, um, it's very hard to make a transformer without these joints, and make because these joints make them look really cool. But um, I don't have enough to be able to make them have as much T joints as the, his do. But I have enough, just enough for this. Basically, I gave him the rest. I only had six, and I gave this guy four of them basically. Um, so basically, I made one good transformer. It's triple changer. Uh, this is his back. It's kind of. Oh yeah, he as you can see his Autobot symbols on his wings. Uh, he has a little cockpit right there. That's hot. It's, yeah, he can't do much with that. Um, yeah, I guess I can see his matrix. I guess his chest opening up. And there's the matrix. And like Optimus said, basically it, instead of being flat down, it actually just holds in there. So, but since you've seen it, you can see it in my other videos. You don't need to. I don't need to take it out. Okay, I guess I'll start with the transformation. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of how I can do this because this is kind of diff He's not difficult to transform. He's just uh, hard. He's just difficult to do it when I'm holding a camera. Well, trying to. Well, not holding a camera, but you know what I mean. Reach my arms over. Okay. So I guess I'll start uh, with the car mode. So you see, to start with the car mode, you just uh, um, switch, turn his head around. I hope you can see this. And then. Uh, he kind of looks like a sound wave when I do this, by the way. So he, he, he could have a sound wave head if I wanted him to. Which I'm thinking about it, actually. And it's not wanting to work very well. Okay, there we go. Okay, and fit inside there. It's not really supposed to be a head. It's more like, more like a light. It's supposed to be like a really good light. It's kind of It kind of squeezes in there. There you go. It kind of looks like a head now. It's, no, it looks like a, start, a sound wave head now. <laughs> it's not supposed to be, but yeah, that's why I'm going to scoot it back and fold these down so it doesn't look as good like that. 
Two. Okay, this might be a two. This probably will be a two part, by the way. Okay, or maybe that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try her a little, a little faster on this. Okay, so you detach the. You basically detach the, the um, body from it. Raise the arms up. Fold the wings down so they don't get in the, so they can get out of the way. By the way, I hate take apart transformers. I know people. Some people can't help help it, but come on. I hate. I'm sorry. If I if I see a take apart transformer, I will change channel almost instantly. So. All the YouTube, all the videos. So, if it's like, especially if he says I have, he has to do it like that. I will. Um. So, okay. Let's see. Change, form the wings up like this. Now, I'm not exactly done, of course. Uh, here. Oh, forgot to do something. Switch the legs around, kind of like Starship type thing. So where it's full, and then you fold them down. Fold these things back. Sorry if uh, you didn't see that, but basically it's just been the. I basically switched the spin their legs, this part right here around with the legs, kind of like Star Scream I did, and basically fold down the legs and fold down the feet on back. Basically put them backwards. Basically doing the same thing on the other side. Now they, nothing pegs in yet, but I hope to do it soon. Okay, but it holds in pretty well in vehicle form, so. Okay, hold. Uh, basically, lean back to the head. Oh yeah, take off the weapons. Okay. Okay, fold down the wheels. Okay, let me do the same thing on this side. By the way, this is. I think the vehicle. It's a Cybertronian vehicle, of course. Though, by the way. Okay. Uh, do that. Sorry if I'm a little loud on the video. I'm kind of close to the camera trying to do this. Okay, and it's almost done. Um, sorry, it's kind of being difficult with me. It's kind of there already, but it's not like you know, hundred percent there, and it's not looking how it was a minute, a few minutes ago. There we go. Uh. And I guess that's close. It's it's basically that's it. But it's like here me. Uh, so that's basically the vehicle itself. But it's it, it basically until I get some pegs. It's it's it usually looks better than this. But for some reason it's like not wanting to work with me right now. Since I'm on camera, you know that stupid camera. Now, it doesn't really roll very good because it's like again there's no pegs holding everything in but other than that the vehicle does look pretty good uh, here I'll show you front although the, it's kind of like a like I said it's Cybertronian here uh, there's the chest area um I, I can't really hide the cockpit but yet this you know what I mean uh if I can I mean, fix, sorry take it off camera for a minute okay here's the back the smokestacks, if you can see those circle things right there, those are the smokestacks. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to, here. That's basically where the, where the weapons go, on the wings. So you, since you get, they're, they're, those are actual smokestacks too, but I mean, these are Zox pipes and stuff like that, you know, these are for fire, like, you know, whatever. But, okay, I guess I could show you the vehicle form real quick, I mean, not the vehicle form, the other one, I mean. Okay, so you want to do it from there, here. You basically just have to form the head back how it was. Well, you don't. I don't think. Actually, I don't really have to. I guess probably not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do actually. Just, I just want to make sure. No, I'm kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. But yep. Yeah. Oops. Wing fell off. Well, part of the wing. Uh, it's. Let's see. Okay. Make sure I didn't mess it up. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Okay. And, um... Okay. So you do from there, you basically reconnect the body. Well, after you, of course, move the arms up. Okay, the the wing, the jet mode looks pretty cool, too. But as, to me, not as cool as the, the van. Or, I don't really know how to explain what type of vehicle it is. If you guys seen the new Ben 10 series, it looks similar to the, that transforming van that transforms from a... Uh, you know, of course, a van to a, uh, je a jet oil type thing, so without the square in this. 
Oh yeah, I'm making a jet. <clears throat> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so you basically uh, spin the alarms around. And then you basically tuck them up. Oops. Uh, there. Sorry, trying to do this on camera. It's really difficult. Okay. I hope you guys saw that. Not really looking at it right now. I'm trying to do two things at once. Spin it around. Do the same thing on this side. Oops. Forgot to spin this wing around. And there. You basically. That wing right there. So you see, it makes the wing spin better. Um, I think I did it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I did this side wrong, I guess, but it's just basically spinning it around. Okay. Now you spin the. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. My uh, webcam type thing fell over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So basically, you just bring up the legs. Now the arm, like I said, the arms don't exactly work right. Uh, um, don't hide anywhere really. It's underneath the vehicle, I guess. Okay. So basically, you pull down the arms. Well, the legs. I mean, sorry. Uh, you can see. Sorry, I'm trying. The feet are trying being difficult with me, basically. And. Oops. There we go. We're gonna pull down the arm cockpit a little bit. It's being difficult with me. It's usually not this difficult, but then again, I'm also on that camera and it's difficult to mess with it. Okay, I'm gonna put the I'm putting the weapons on again. Okay. So this is the jet mode. It's, well, it's, again, it's, this is basically, here, let me, uh, see, that's the jet mode, basically. Oh, the arms don't really, I guess nothing really pegs in right now. But, uh, the arms could probably have the potential to peg in right now, actually, but for now, they're, you know, but, yeah. It's a triple changer, though. I think it's one of the best on YouTube, anyways. In my, well, in my opinion, I'm not trying to do the ego type thing. But, yeah, it's probably one of the best. And But I guys built this yesterday. Um, of course, there's going to be updates like my other videos. But this one's basically mainly, the, I think the main updates is going to be the pegging. It basically allows everything to be able to peg in. Uh, maybe a head, slight head update. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of surprised I did that in, within one video. But, yeah. Uh, just a little... Here, let me uh, fix it, hold it better. There we go. So, it's a pretty big wingspan. Uh, I like it. It definitely looks does not look like from Earth. I can see it being Cybertronian. Both vehicles look Cybertronian to me, of course. Doesn't look earthly. Oh, yeah, here's the robot kibble underneath this is his chest. Here, let me move my hand. Nope. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, here it is. It's somewhere right there it's just that's basically the arms don't really go anywhere yet but yeah okay please rate and that's uh, upside down isn't it <laughs> sorry guys here let me put on my pants real quick sorry about that sorry about that my um stand has lost a leg and i'm trying basically i have to do it with three legs and it needs all four but yeah it's pretty neat like for being a triple changer like it's one, I think it's one, like I said, it's one of the best on YouTube in my opinion. On uh, Google Images, probably no, probably not. I've seen some, I saw some really good ones over on there. But maybe for the size, it's deluxe size. It's you know, well maybe it, probably more like a Voyager or in between Voyager and deluxe size. But uh, it's you know, pretty big. I don't know if it could fit a minifigure in there, but it's definitely pretty good in size with a minifigure. So I don't have one on hand, real quick. But yeah, it's pretty great. Please rate and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Sorry for all the drop camera falling. And please rate and subscribe. And comment, of course. And please uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Try to get. I'm trying to try to get about 100 maybe or more. So yeah, please thank you and subscribe. Bye.